my fellow race director, Mark. Uh, I'm Richard. <laughs> Welcome to film my run. Uh, this is the 1066 100 mile ultra. So within, uh, within half a mile, or less than half a mile, we're on the Thames Path. And we're now following the Thames Path for the next 50k. So there's the Houses of Parliament over the river and London Eye just ahead, about 14k into the 1066 100 miler, quick dash across the road. Do you know what, I never thought I'd run a 100 mile ultra past the London Eye. Hour 40 into the uh, 1066 100 miler. There's St Paul's Cathedral, there's the Millennium Bridge, and here's the Tate Gallery. And we're still running along the Thames Path. 10 miles done. bridge there and across the road the Tower of London. Everyone behind the white line please. Oh, no. Can I quickly go? Quickly. quickly. Um, I'm allowed to cross the bridge just before it opens. Thank you, buddy. Oh, Cheers. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Okay, officially this is 15 miles, but uh, most of us have done about 17 miles to get here because we went all over the place. Well, I have anyway. Uh, we're in Millwall, and uh, I've done this in two hours and 50 minutes. So it's about 20 miles to the next checkpoint, so no doubt we'll be stopping at Costa and Waitrose, Sainsbury's, Morrison's. and Morrison's and Nero on the way. <laughs> and Pizza Hut maybe, yeah. This is a Greenwich foot tunnel and it goes all the way under the Thames. So we're going from the north bank in Millwall to the south bank. Presumably that's Greenwich. So we're in Dartford, um, about 40 miles in. I am absolutely knackered. I am. It's, I mean, it's not that hot. It's not, honestly, it's about 22 degrees, 70 Fahrenheit, something like that. So it's not, it's not burning hot, but it's just hot enough to make me wilt. And um, I'm at that stage where my stomach is feeling pretty horrible. I can't eat any food. We've just passed a checkpoint, second checkpoint at Dartford in the little church. Um, and I just looked at the food and I, I couldn't stomach any of it. I had a couple of grapes and even that made me feel sick. I've bought myself a coffee. I've managed to have a couple of pints of milk from various shops. 
since the previous checkpoint but I'm walking an awful lot now I did catch up with Richard and uh, and Jay at one point and then uh, I stopped at a shop and they went on and I haven't seen them since and I've walked an awful lot but uh, 7 hours 50 minutes 62 kilometres so 40 miles um, I'm just going to charge my watch and then I'll get on my way but I'm going to be walking for a bit more I think Nice little place to stop though for a minute. Nine hours into the 1066 100 mile ultra and uh, we've done about 70 kilometers. Although actually in reality, there's probably less than that. Um, in terms of the route. It's about six o'clock in the evening and it's finally starting to cool down a bit, which means I'm feeling a bit better and I'm starting to run a bit now. Not fast, but at least I'm running. So we are about, well, I've done 50 miles, but um, that doesn't mean we're halfway by any means, because uh, there's a lot of extra mileage in there, and the whole run is at least 104, so still a way to go. Hi buddy, thanks very much. Got no choice really. <laughs> yes. Just about. So that's aid station number three over there, Rochester Castle. Thirty-seven kilometres to go, twenty-three miles. We've been going for twenty hours and about twenty-five minutes. It's been the most bizarre hundred-mile race. There's a really horrible bit through Dartford and Erith where there's fly tipping and rubbish everywhere, and it's just a horrible place to run through. There's been a lot of tarmac. So kind of tough on your feet to run on tarmac. And then there's been an awful lot of overgrown pathway. It's been weird. And given the elevation of this ultra, which is only about 1,600, 700 meters, you know, I'd expect to do this in 24 hours. It's gonna take 27. It's been really, really hard. There's been loads of walking. I'm lucky if I'm covering a kilometre in 10 minutes. <sighs> but this is what we do it for. <laughs> it's all good fun. Ten miles to go. We've done the distance so far in uh, 24 hours and uh, I have now done almost 100 miles. And there it is, Bodium Castle.
I seriously got to try and get through that? That's not happening, is it? Oh dear, now we're in trouble. We've got people chasing me. We've got six kilometers to go, four miles. And I, and I think I'm supposed to be on that path over there. finish now 200 meters to go and uh, it's been so tough this battle on me There's, there's grass up to here, there's um, stinging nettles and, and thorn bushes at eye level yeah. and at base level with a path this wide. Sometimes you don't even know if it's the right path, even though it says so on your... Richard's legs are buzzing. Stra yeah, yours, mine are buzzing. I've yours actually don't look too bad. We've got some people yeah. who are really, really scorched. You've done yeah. quite well in the leg front. The only... I went right through the middle of a bunch of uh, stinging nettles through one of the vineyards because I couldn't work out which way round the vineyard it was, so I just went right through the bloody middle of it. So here I am in front of the famous Battle Abbey site of the Battle of Hastings. I always think it's really weird how they managed to fight in a place called Battle. Anyway, I finished the uh, 1066 100 mile ultra in uh, 20, six hours 46 minutes that was really really hard work but I came in 10th place so that shows that it was hard for everyone so that's it from battle here in East Sussex join me again for another marathon another ultra another crazy adventure this one has been a crazy adventure let me tell you next time take care bye bye